What's up, guys? Godslave here in Mortal Kombat 11. Now, you're going to hear it out of the horse's mouth. Ed Boon himself, what he's uh, talked about in the past about Mortal Kombat 11, Shaolin Monks Part 2, Mortal Kombat Zero, the next Nether Realm title. Since you, you began in Netherrealm, uh, every game you launch, it's a huge success. Mortal Kombat, uh, Mortal Kombat 2011 was very nice. Injustice, uh, Mortal Kombat X, Injustice 2. Now, can you expect uh, Mortal Kombat 11 or something new? Yeah, well, we, we never, um, you know, I'm certainly not allowed to announce a new game. No, yeah. um, and, but but if, if, you, if you follow the pattern uh, <laughs> of what, what we're doing, you, can, you, you might be able to... You, you might be able to guess yeah. what we're doing. <laughs> well, we never, we never announce a new. Oh, at least I'm not allowed to announce any new Mortal Kombat game. Eu não sou permitido, não, 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 é, não me é permitido anunciar um novo Mortal Kombat. But if you look at what our studio has been doing, we did Mortal Kombat 9, Injustice 1, Mortal Kombat X, Injustice 2. X was, you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, follow the, the story from Mortal Kombat 4 and some of mythologies, some zero mythologies. Uh, in the next Mortal Kombat, would we, will we see the, the events from Mortal Kombat Dead Alliance or, or it will be completely new? Well, if we did a Mortal Kombat, yes. um, we, we, would, we would probably do a, a brand new story, I think, you know, as opposed to following the other games. Yeah. Nice. And we may know who is the villain because we play at Mortal Kombat X. And we are willing to see this game that who knows someday may launch. Yeah, maybe. May please, it's a request almost. Do Shaolin Monks 2, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've, been, we've had a lot of people have asked us that. Yes. You know, it was, it was really. Uh, um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that we're 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 definitely um, having conversations, um, but with nothing to nothing to announce or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're talking about it, you know. Like, like it doesn't mean that we're working on it, but you know, like there's a lot of things that you know. Um, we're fortunate in that you know, Injustice has done well. The Mortal Kombat fighting games have done well. People have been asking us for you know, like a, a Mortal Kombat action adventure game. So it's nice to have. A few games, but we can't do all at the same time. Yeah. That's that's a challenge. So yeah. And another question: uh, Do you think to to do a prequel Mortal Kombat game, talking the history of Goro, uh, uh, one uh, winning his first tournament, uh, old Kung Lao, like the and, nine and, Mortal and, Kombat, and and, 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 to one. and maybe and maybe a Liu Kuei, a Lin Kuei Wagner from from Force of Zero? Yeah, yeah. We that, you know again we, we talk a lot. It's a one of the the, the one of the things we were talking about at one point was like a Mortal Kombat Zero, you know, where where it was all the, the, the events leading into the first one. But but like I said, again, there's just so many. So it's like, it's kind of like, you know, do we do Mortal Kombat Zero or Shaolin Monks 2? Which which one do you, which, which one do you do? So it's, it's kind of a tough thing. Yeah, yeah. Or X something. Yeah, yeah, X1. You don't want to believe what I say. You don't want to believe what other YouTubers say. Only reliable source is WB Games, Ed Boon, and Netherrealm. Right. So for the past three months, we've been getting all this false fire and this false hype about Mortal Kombat 11. Reason for that is every two years, Netherrealm comes out with a new fighting game. We had Injustice 1. We had Mortal Kombat. Oh, kitty. You scared the crap out of me. What are you doing? What the heck are you doing? Wow. Scared the crap out of me, kitty. So, like I was saying, we have uh, Mortal Kombat 9, we have Injustice 1, we have Mortal Kombat X, we had Injustice 2, follows that trend, right? Now, this is uh, why I believed, and I've been saying for three months now, there's no Mortal Kombat 11. The reason I said that is because, again, what Ed Boon was talking about you know, Ed Boon was talking about Mortal Kombat 11. Why in the world would he give it away that way? Yeah, I know we've been seeing, you know, the trend every two years. But why would he spoil something that can be so amazing? Like a different fighting game. 
um, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Part 2, Marvel vs. DC. And before you say that can't happen, of course it could happen. All they got to do is sign a Disney a check. You know, anything is possible with money, guys. You should already know that. Look at Contest of Champions mobile app. You got the entire Marvel roster in there, including um, X-Men that are owned by Fox and Spider-Man that's owned by uh, Sony. And so anything can happen with the right uh, amount of money. So I never, you know, would rule anything out. But I was very careful to talk about a new video, uh, a new fighting game, because there was no proof. You get me? So there's no proof. I'm not going to make clickbait videos like most you know, YouTubers out there. Well, not most, but some. So, because Ed Boon said, you know, there's possibly an MK11 followed trend, etc. I didn't, I didn't bite into that bait. I didn't believe that he would spoil something that could have been in the works, like a different fighting game. So, um, never, I never believed there was going to be no MK11. Now, I might be wrong. We still might get MK11 next year and i'm going to talk about some reasons why we might get it and why it might be delayed and why you know it wasn't announced at e3 well if you guys remember for injustice 2 they had uh it was delayed also injustice 2 was delayed for about a month because usually the games are released in april mkx was released in april injustice 2 was released in may it was delayed because they had problems with uh voice actors so that's another you know, issue how games can be delayed. You know, real life situations can happen. Voice actors not getting, you know, compensated what they want or what they feel they deserve. Uh, just a bunch of different reasons, you know, why things can go wrong making a game and, you know, with the developers, with the voice actors, with uh, people that are working behind the scenes. Um, there's a lot of things now. Nowadays, games are like making movies. You got a lot going on, guys. So, um, you know, there's many reasons. Maybe, you know, they were working on MK11 and then, you know, Disney or somebody, you know, that has the rights to Marvel characters said, hey, guys, you want to work on a Marvel game? Or maybe they decided to scrap MK11 and work on MK versus DC2 because... They already have, you know, the Injustice 2, uh, um, you could say the the trend going on right now where it's, uh, it's a hot game and it was like, it did really well and they have a lot of character designs. So who knows? There could be a, a lot of reasons, guys. So um, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Whatever the next NetherRealm game is, Injustice 2, MK11, I mean, uh, Injustice 3, MK11, uh, Shaolin Monks 2, whatever it is, freaking, I'm going to cover it on my channel because, again, I'm a NetherRealm fan and I've been around since Mortal Kombat Arcade. So most of you guys probably weren't even born back then. But, yeah, I started playing Mortal Kombat in the arcade. I was a teenager. So with that being said, I'm going to close the, this uh, I'm going to close this out with some um, talk about mobile covering mk i mean not mk injustice 2 mobile what i would like to see because the game's getting boring and repetitive i would like to see a multiverse mode like you have in the console version or i would like to see new boss battles and raids maybe a dark side maybe a suicide squad boss battle or, um i don't know something new because just arena is just not going to cut it guys you know, it's so repetitive, it's so boring, and it's so tedious. It takes so much work for very minimal progress, you know. So um, that's my thought on it. Still love the game, still support the game, still spend some money on the game. But um, definitely, you know, getting boring and repetitive. So what I'm going to do now, since I'm not hyped about anything that I've seen uh, during E3 except for the uh, Skyrim Blades. Skyrim's having like a... Well, Elder Scrolls is having a new mobile game called Blades, which I'm going to also cover on this channel. I'm hyped about that. That's about it. Nothing else has really got my attention. Maybe Battlefield 5, uh, Battlefield 5 maybe. But that's about it, guys. I'm just going to go back to playing Injustice 2 on the console, and I'm going to go back to playing MKX on the PS4 just to have something else to do. 
because I'm kind of bored of arena, to be honest. So it's Chaos God Slave 7, and I'm out.